from fresher to directors of engineering what made you to stick at kiss flow for this long they gave me a freedom and a space for me to grow separately so how do you guys strike a balance between the tools where it can able to solve the customer problem how it goes what is the problem that we are going to solve right. so that comes first yeah. multiple products and multiple versions for each of these products so what next coming up and the next big move probably would be Hey, hey, Adi. Hi, Vivek. Hi, Swami. First of all, congrats on your BMW mission. Hope you are having a uh, fun with that. We at Kissflow, we are uh, just hit our ten-year uh, milestone, and uh, since you guys are there since the beginning of the journey, it should have been a quite a ride for uh, both of you guys, right? So let's start with that. Why can't you, you know, start by uh, you know talking about your journey at Kissflow and uh, where it has led us to us here? Um, yeah. Hello, Swami. First of all, thanks uh, for letting me here. um so starting uh, i'll start my journey so uh, i started my career as an engineer in orange cape way back at uh, 2005 right. uh it has been like uh, 6 17 years till now uh at the time i didn't expect that i'll stick to this company for so long uh yeah i had a amazing journey um so over this year uh, i've been part of uh, uh, developing multiple products including caseflow uh the first product is dimension which is a rule based uh, application development platform and then uh, we developed the visual pass and then we are um, into case flow right now so that's the uh, short uh, journey for me in our escape cool vivek hi so me it's really great to be part of this session uh just to tell about my journey let me start with my uh with my year year beginning of the case flow I joined Kislo as a f- fresher, and then uh, first like three to four years, I was majorly an individual player. As an individual, I used to do a lot of like trial and practice to learn to learn new things. This really me helped me to set a base base of of my whole journey. The first four years of my journey is a base for me in Kislo. Um, the thing is, and then uh, uh, and then I moved to a team player. The team player was a really really real challenge for me. It was uh, really hard to mingle with the team. from individual player to a team player and then i learned like lot of things like sharing with the team gave me a new learning so the one as individual player i learned things by studying and do, doing trial and error but in the team the collaboration and sharing gave me a different knowledge and different learning lessons it is a new experience for me i really like like that and then uh, from the team i just moved move to building the team form myself right. which was another next challenge in, in, in which i need to let my space absent for them to go up So I have to make my myself absence in the in the, the whole team. That's what the others can just keep, keep coming up. There is one two challenges face. As 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 you mentioned, I'm also part of all these three to four products in the last like ten to twelve years. Really great journey in case law. Right. So from fresher to directors of engineering, right? So what made you to stick at case law for this long? Um, of course, the learning and the. journey journey right. itself it uh, so more than a success i usually talked about the journey so the journey is giving me the happiness what you do right. um what you do make me like feel so happy so so that's a one word i can right. say and apart from that the people in orange cape right. and they are like as close as my family because most of the time we are spending in uh, in oh, the office right, right. Uh, like uh, after 10 years like it's been like more than anybody in, uh, it's a it's a it's a very um um close relationship with which we formed in in our escape so so th- there are two there are these two main reasons where I, why i'm sticking to the company for so long okay so for me it's uh, like uh, i'm not like a topper in the college or school so once i joined our orange cape they gave me a freedom and a space for me to grow separately which i really loved it right. and then they let me to allow fail a lot in like five to four to five years it really impressed me and then the, i never got a feel in the school and college i got a feel in orange cape which is which is which is true feel i got so i never, never thought of leaving orange cape any 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 time even now i never have ever thought so like staying is part of me so the technology we land the, the journey we had as a team everything has been helped me to stay in orange cape so you started and you are continuing here before getting into the next part of the question just one last question in this one right can you just tell us uh, quickly about your first day how was the first day at kiss flow or orange cape at that time i don't know so <laughs> uh maybe i i will share this question um the i will say in the so first day i would say my my interview day 
Okay. Okay. Uh, money is my is a whole city where in case low. When he called me for interview, I just came at around like uh, 10 a.m. in the morning. The interview started at 10:30, right. and then skip on went like the interview ended at 5:30 in the evening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one full day interview all the five people in the company dinesh mani prasanna ar suresh <laughs> prasanna j like five senior people it told me as if i'm fresher that's the key right. point to be here <laughs> the fresher so interview for five long hours so i was really uh, very uh, after interview i thought avala dhan pola i will never get a chance to get to manage it was a great the second day is obviously the first day After the interview, they, they called me. They told me that you, you are selected. Please you join us tomorrow. And then I just came tomorrow morning. Uh-huh. And then they told that Java is a technology going to work in the uh, RSK. Obviously, Java is my favorite favorite thing in my college, so I really love it. <laughs> cool, great, uh, great. Yes, sir. So for me, yeah. <clears throat> so Dinesh was the one who interviewed me first. So after Dinesh interview, they asked me to go home. Okay, I think uh, second row is supposed to be taken by Mani. Okay. but uh, since he is not available they asked me to go home but after i reached to home they immediately called me no no money came so you just come for the neg- second round immediately right. <laughs> so again i started from home to uh, office so i attended uh, second round by money so i i'm not sure whether i impressed him or not but i kind of answered all his questions so <laughs> then the next round followed by suresh okay and i still remember uh, what suresh Uh, uh the suresh first uh, what suresh spoke to me first suresh just come and spoke uh, speak to me like uh, hi i'm suresh like i'm running this company okay. so i still remember that um then yeah it's a normal interview process then i, I hope i impressed him so finally i got selected then i'm here <laughs> so uh, i guess it has been almost 2 years since you guys uh, gave that wonderful talk at the cto talks uh, session right where you guys deep dived into the multi tenant b2b architecture where uh, we leveraged kubernetes and what else and what not right so what is latest in that so where we are now yeah um in the last 2 years there are a lot of improvements uh, both in terms of a product as well as the tech stack Uh, so product wise uh, we added uh, one of the major feature called uh, kislo analytics so right. basically bringing the analytics feature to the platform right. where the business user can develop uh, slightly complex uh, analytics reports using the platform itself and also in addition to that we provide connectors uh, for the customers so that they can connect uh, any sort of uh, um, bi tools something like a power bi or tableau right. so that they can create much more complex reports right so that is one addition and apart from that we um, add some of the smart features something like uh, filling the form um, automatically filling the form using attachment oh. or uh, approving an item using uh, from an email itself right. so these are all basically adding the intelligence to the system right. so so from the product stand this is the uh, these are all the features from the technology uh, wise uh, we Uh, uh in kubernetes we we shifted to the um uh, asm anthos service mesh so that is one major uh, uh, shift to the technology stack right cool and we are, you are the guy behind that uh, low code no code initiative kislo apps so, so uh, uh, as you as you all know kislo is a sort of journey in the, in the no code angle and the last ways is the is a space that we entered into the low code segment it was so it was a, a very, very very big journey for us to start even now we are still in the journey it's not like it's not like getting ended in a low code so low code is one of the big bigger technology choice as well as a business impact we introduced in in the last year uh, for that is one also we we are already mentioned we have a lot of new technologies to uh, to accommodate the, the low code and then to accommodate the thing the one of the major changes like, like we had microservices in the front end architecture right that is one and to to, to run the low code we had both server side and client side scripting engine separate running in the service layer of kubernetes right. to take care of the, the back end layer right. no i was actually you know like uh, watched your cto talk presentation very late you know at the time that's not available it's a very exciting thing and maybe you should you guys should do the updated one in the coming days or something like because uh, you know with my you know like uh, limited uh, experience here at kisfly recently joined right uh, I see a lot of cool things happening in this platform. Maybe you know, maybe you have to do a refresher or reboot of that uh, CTO talks with the latest. Uh, we can definitely do. We can do that. Do about sure. that uh, mobile version we launched in the Kislo right. Coral and then about low code and then no code. I did mention a few things. We can definitely do that. Cool. Uh, let's talk about Kislo Coral. You know, like our latest adventure, right? Uh, we are all excited about it. So just tell us uh, how we landed here. Okay. 
Um, I would like to recollect some of the history. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Dimension was our first product. Yeah. Uh, the objective is democratize the computing. So this is a rule, rule engine based work, um, application development platform where the business users can develop application using a spreadsheet like an interface. Yeah. So that's our first product. Then we slowly moved to um, uh, workflow application development product. So we called it as a visual pass. So that is in the cloud. Okay. Uh, this is a slightly uh, sophisticated platform, but still lacks the uh, simplicity of the development. Application development becomes slightly complex right. because that product expects the business user to understand some amount of a data model and to have to write a complex business logics and things like that. Right. So what we thought is we, we find the business user find difficult to develop application using that. Then we decided to build a much more simpler or rather abstract version of the product. Mm. So that's where we uh, developed a Kissflow. Right. Now, okay, uh, I was curious, right? So how many versions of Kissflow we have now? Yeah, right now we have four versions of Kissflow, right? right? So the first two versions are multi-instance uh, based architecture. Right. So whereas each customer will have a dedicated uh, server as well as the database. Something like a pass. Yeah. Right. So, uh, and we use uh, RDBMS at that point of time. So the reason why we went for that particular architecture is, of course, the um, ease of development and things like that. So, so that, that's where, uh, that's the first version, uh, first two versions use that architecture. And slowly, uh, when the customer base increases, um, we ended up in a maintenance nightmare. Right. So because even to release a small feature or bug fix, whatever, we have to roll it for all the instances because every every tenant have a de their own uh, instance of a server and database, right? So maintenance become a problem. So what we thought is then, uh, and the other problem is, other challenge is the RDBMS, the cost of the RDBMS and the performance. Of course, we cannot compete with the NoSQL, right? So so we, des we decided to make a big jump. Right. So, and as a result, we moved to a... Um, a microservice and pure multi-tenant architecture. Right. And of course, we moved to a document-based database, NoSQL database. Right. Um, so that's where uh, Kissflow 3 and 4 we right. developed. So 2, 3 and four. Uh, four. So Yeah, 3 is actually a major jump right. in terms of architecture and the database wise. Right. Whereas 4 is more of a, um, uh, I would say like, it's a more of a uh, UI and UX Enhancements. We have, we have done a lot of UI and UX enhancement in the 4.0 right. version. Right. So four, that's why that's why the four is called Kisplow Coral in four, the outside right. world. Yeah, we call it as internally 4.0, yeah. but it is named as Kisplow Coral. Right. Again, just curious. Was there a Kisplow version one? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> and uh, how long it was there before you guys uh, ventured into two? It was in 2012, right? Right. Kisplow 2 has been there till 2014. So, so many versions yes. and uh, uh, I clearly see that uh, still customers are using different versions of our uh, product, right? And definitely there might be some interesting challenges when it comes to migrating the customer from one version to another version. Maybe sometime customer will say that they are comfortable there, they don't want to migrate. Or sometime when we try to migrate, as you said, a lot of technology advancement, it is not that easy to migrate. So maybe you guys can share some interesting uh, case studies you encountered in. Let me give you an intro in this. Right. So just to be, uh, say, like 1.2 is the initial phase of case flow. 1.2 we did for very few customers. At right. that time, you don't have a major customer base for case flow. So 2 is the space where we, we have been getting revenues in complete case flow. So 2 right. is the cash cow of case flow, complete case flow product. Right. So and we have, we, we built 3 parallelly, so, and then 4. Right. So the challenge is like uh, migrating from uh, 2 to 3 and 3 to 4. Three. This is a challenge, right? Yeah. Are the 7% to explain this detail? Maybe you can share it. Right. Yeah, as uh, as you said, like migration is the one of the biggest challenge. Not just Kislow for any company, right. because customers is already used to one one version of the product. When you suddenly change the entire UI and uh, behavior, uh, they are not comfortable to moving because they're, they're, they're their their application that. already right. running. Yeah, so so that's a, that's one of the major problem. And what we did is we did a, uh, a, 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 a we built a migration tool for that for a seamless migration, right? right? And the tool will take care of uh, closely like 85 to 95 percent of um, uh, migrating the application because it's a it's a complete migration, right? right. Moving from uh, a monolith to microservice yeah, architecture and, uh, and uh, SQL to NoSQL 
and data model everything is getting changed so the tool itself the migration tool itself is a very comprehensive one and the next challenge is like um, though we build a tool it cannot we cannot we are not able to build 100% mm. because the nature of kislo is a kislo is a platform right. where each customer will develop their own application so each customer's application will be different right. so the the tool cannot handle all the permutation combination mm. so we re still require some kind of a manual intervention in the right. migration so that is the another challenge and um, and the next one is convincing the customer as you said because we have to show the value of the newer version of the product what is what is newer version of the product like we uh, of course the newer version is more um, performant compared to the older version and it has a lot of additional features right. and uh, so showing the value to the customer so that is one challenge right. and the next one is like uh, bridging some of the uh, feature gaps mm -hmm. see some of the features we built uh, in in the older version at the time of um, based on the, the time of requirement but later we realized some of the feature may not be required because we have solved it much more elegant way right. there are customers who are already using that features but right. we have some challenges workarounds doing so to fill that particular gap right. and the next one is like um, so the the, the the strategy that we took for migration is um, we have variety of customer base like we have small some smaller accounts and big enterprise account as well so for smaller so what we what we did uh, what we have done is like we first um, take some of the smaller accounts for migrations mm -hmm. so that it's easy for tool as well as the team to migrate right. so over the time the tool is also evolved right. right so when when things are moving and also we get to know what are all the some of the gaps in the product so we started building those features in the newer version of the product as well right. And that's how we started migration. Mostly we'll run in the weekends. Right. So that's how we uh, migrated and the migration is still going on. The migration itself is a separate uh, yeah, interesting yeah, topic. Yeah, we yeah. guys have to talk more in the coming days. Now, now tell me, uh, you know, like one of the uh, interesting experience you heard from the customer, right? Where you was, it's a positive thing you heard from a customer on using our product. And also the negative thing that you heard, you would have came across so much of positive and negative feedback, but something will be special, right? Top one of this and top one of that or something like that, if you guys can share that. Is it about the customer who migrated or? Who used the Kisflow product and somebody would have given a, you know, like a great uh, positive feedback. Yeah, yeah. And also some people might have given you the other side of the feedback, right? But some cases I, might uh, be interesting or <laughs> memorable for I you guys. Take some positive so right. for if you take any customer that's a general feedback from any customer mm. uh, and so the simplicity of the product so any right. customer uh, they when once they use the product they will first mention about the simplicity of the product it's very so easy right. but so powerful at the same time they can build almost any sort of workflow, workflow application using the kisflow product so that's that's a one uh, with a simple uh, interface right and for 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 critics I have to think. <laughs> <laughs> Critics is something like from me. People will be always be afraid to new changes, right? Right. So even though they know Kisto Coral is very new and very super simple and super UX, yeah. but the company as an admin team of the customers will always worry about giving the change to the, to the employees, providing a training, providing a video. It's a really challenge for them. Right. They, they, they always try to find a way to stop uh, migration. Right. That is the main, main critic will say. Just for the sake of not, not migrating, they, they will say some reason. Some reason. Because that, that is that pain point. We have, we have to understand that. Right. That is that pain point. That is the, once they migrate, they will be really happy. Right. So about the, the, the way they move from, from zero to one, right? So right. when they're moving, there are a lot of critics. But once they moved, they will be really happy about the Kislo Coral, coral user. Okay. <laughs> now I'll twist the question a little bit, right? Uh, so we are now talking about the customers, right? How about the people or teams inside Kisflow? So any uh, interesting experience where they tried our product and came up with a very interesting use case implementation or any solved one of their problem using our Kisflow application? We have, to put you simply, we Kisflow as a company, we use the same Kisflow product for all of our internal uh, automations. All right. Starting from the HR to, to, to the admin team, everybody right. will use the same Kisflow platform, like Kisflow Coral platform, right. to build to solve all the day-on-day day -day needs. And the, the beauty about that is, since we use our, our own product, we used to get a lot of feedback before the customer giving us. Right. 
so our employees our customer success team our hr team our admin team will give will give feedbacks to us like day day on day right. that really helped us to improve a lot so i definitely thank the kislo team uh, to to before eating the customer for the customer uh, giving a bugs and score uh, giving a greetings to us the, these people has been uh, firewall for us and all customers yes <laughs> yes <laughs>